not every Muslim can keep Ramadan. There's lots of Muslims that fall out of Ramadan because they need medicine or because they're not strong enough. Exactly, so one shoe size fits all doesn't work. Because one of the pillars of Islam, a, 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 a person who is old and ill can't do. But in Christianity, that old, ill person can keep his religion in full. And that's the difference between Islam and Christianity. And we don't do 30 days of feasting like Muslims do in Ramadan. No, for what we do? Muslim, I'm talking about we, yeah, you. so I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about me. Muslim. So I'm talking about me. Yeah. So listen. Don't so, say Muslim. Don't so, say Muslim. So, so no, no, I'll say whatever I want. I'm no, not but your dimmy. So, so let me talk about it then. I'm going to talk about it. So in, uh, so in the Christian faith, each person, in good conscience and sincerity, must choose their own Lenten commitment. Right now, traditionally, the church has advised that what you do is you go vegan for Lent, right? And you, and you, and you basically just, you just follow a vegan diet, essentially. Veg and fruit. Advice or religion? It, it's advised no because in, 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 in no, our... No, from religion. So are you going to interrupt or listen? So you've, I'm asked, you've asked a question, let me answer. So in our faith, there isn't a one size fits all. And in terms of doing good, everyone is free. You're only prohibited from doing what's evil. In terms of doing what's good, everyone is free to do good as they think is best. From the religion or from the advice, I'm asking you. Yeah, so in our faith, it's called where the spirit is, there is freedom, that we have the freedom of the gospel. So that means each person, so my auntie here, if she decides to fast, she chooses how she fasts. I choose how I fast. Uh, everybody chooses in, the way he wants. Everyone chooses in sincerity, and honesty. It's not that you can just go, oh, well, I'm going to fast breakfast and then, you know, you've got to choose a real sacrifice, something so you, that is so a real sacrifice. You do, yeah, you've got to reflect inward. You've got to look into your inner man and or you, inner woman. And you do it your way. You, you and, do and, way you, you and, think it's And right. then in faithfulness to God, in prayer, you decide what you're going to do. That is right. For 40 days and 49. That, that's a, a custom amongst a lot of Christians, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah it's, but the thing is, the, the one of the things I think lots of Muslims struggle with is, is a fun... I'm not talking about Muslims. What are you talking about? So, no, so no, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, it's, 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 no, 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 so, this is nothing to do with me. So, so listen, so, so, and, and, and what I'm saying is, is, yeah. is one of the things that a lot of people struggle to understand is that in the Christian faith, when it comes to doing good, there's no prescription. You're free to do good however you want. Okay. And so bad, long as it's and bad, good. And bad, if you well, obviously, bad, you're, not, you're, you're, you're prohibited from doing what's bad. Uh, you can't do bad. Of course not. You should avoid doing evil. No. And Lent particularly and, is a time. Uh, Jesus is uh, so, so, forgive you for so every Lent, core sins. So Lent. Core sins. So, so, so that, core sins. Yeah, but, but Muslims don't understand what we Christians mean when we say that. Yeah. Christ taking away our sins is not a license to do whatever you want. Yeah, no. The Bible doesn't no. teach that. No. The Bible teaches that because Christ has taken away your sins, yeah. you should live a life of gratitude. Yeah, and that means if you live a life of gratitude, you live a life that will please God. Why? Because God has done something merciful to you and you should respond with gratitude to his mercy. Please God in a lecture, not, not the way you think. The Sorry? Human, in, in the Bible, not, not the way you think is good or bad. No, I, well, well, I don't understand your question. Sorry. To say, you know, the way you fast is according to Bible? So the, the way that so 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 simply put in the Christian faith the Bible says simply that we should fast that's it doesn't tell us how doesn't tell us how what the Bible says is that we should work out our salvation with fear and trembling which means that we don't have this laissez faire lazy kind of complacent attitude towards honoring God that we should honor God with seriousness with fear and how, trembling. How, how would you know that the way you fast is right? Right, so this is the point. The, how do we know? It's, it's a sacrifice. So if you're doing a sacrifice with sincerity, it's about the sincerity of the action. If the action is done sincerely, that is what matters. So if an old lady who's dying of cancer and is she... Sorry, is that what the Bible says? No, 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 um, uh, yes, okay. this is literally what it says. It says where the Spirit is, there is freedom. It says that, that, that there is no law 
to those who have the fruits of the Spirit. It says, Christ says, when you fast. He doesn't say how to fast. He doesn't say when to fast. He just says when you fast. So the assumption is you will fast. It says that certain prayer, certain demons are only cast out with prayer and fasting. So, but it doesn't describe the how. The, the how, the how in our religion is something that we compete in. Like we compete in good works. And so the best ways are things that the church then takes up and proselytizes to the, the whole congregation. Let me give you an example. The Bible says that we should give to charity. It doesn't say how. It just says that we should give with a cheerful heart and we should give of our, we should give of our wealth like the woman that sticks all of her money into the temple treasury box, right? But the, the, the reality is, if you see a poor man on the street, there's lots of ways you could help that poor man. You could give him cash, or you could buy him food, or you could put him in a hotel. Some of those ways are better than other ways. When the church identifies that there is a really good way to do something, it takes that up and then it advises everybody to do this way. So when it comes to fasting, lots of Christians fast in different ways. But the church encourages us, doesn't tell us, it encourages us to become vegan. Yeah. And literally, literally, it, it literally it says to ha you know the church advises to have one meal a day. So basically, you get advice from the church. Yes, advice from the church. The church is using the Bible for that advice. The Bible says that the, the Bible has said you are free. To, fast, how are you going to, fast? to do good however you want. Fasting is good, isn't it? It's good, yes. Right. Yeah. So the Bible is saying you're free to do that in a way that, because remember, God is not getting anything from our fasting. We're not adding to God. We're not making God more God or making no. him a better God. No. The one that benefits from fasting is you and me. We are the ones that benefit. We become like an angel. Right. Like an angel. Exactly. So the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, if we're the one that, the, but this is the point. This is why. The, this. Right. Okay. So, so the point is, if we're the ones that benefit from the fasting, we are the ones who know best to choose how to fast for us. If God, as in Islam, does a one shoe size fits all. That is not to the benefit of everyone. And we know that because not every Muslim can keep Ramadan. There's lots of Muslims that fall out of Ramadan because they need medicine no, or they because they're not fast. strong enough. They don't fast if they take medicine. No. Exactly. So one shoe size fits all doesn't work. I have to see the doctor. If the doctor tells him you don't have to fast, Exactly. Then that fast. proves my point. So one shoe size fitting all fit, doesn't work. But if you fit, you yeah. will fast. So Ramadan doesn't suit everybody, does yes. it? But the Christian way old, of fasting. If you're old, you can't, you can't, thank you. you can't so you're proving you my point. You're proving my point. But if you're healthy, you're healthy. Thank you. Yeah. Then you can fast. Yeah. He said, no, I don't fast. Yeah. Then, then is 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 a sin. So, so here's the difference between Christianity and Islam, is that the Christian principle works for the old man who is ill, but the fifth one of the pillars of Islam doesn't. Because one of the pillars of Islam, a, 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 a person who is old and ill can't do. Yeah. But in Christianity, that old, ill person can keep his religion in full. And that's the difference between Islam and Christianity. You have, you have in it's Ramadan, it's yes, it, it's a massive difference. No, no. You have a one shoe size fits all policy that means lots of people can't keep it. In Christianity, we have the freedom of grace. Well, he gets a reward, that man, that old man. Even if he doesn't fast, he gets the reward. You he just, still, he still you, can the reward. Thank you, you've proven my point. Yeah, he, he you've proven my reward. point. You've proven my point. But if you fit, and yeah. you can do it. Yes, yes. And you don't do it. Yes. I mean, you don't care. Right. So, so my point to you is that in our faith, because each person chooses their sacrifice, it means that each person can choose their sacrifice according to their circumstances. To, to the person. Yes, to he the person. He doesn't need to ask Certainly. anyone. No, no. no they, they, he doesn't need to you, ask someone. You make. You know. You, you would learn more if you made less assumptions. In the Christian faith, there is the idea of the spiritual elder. The idea of the father of confession, the one that we go to to speak and seek spiritual advice, our elders, our pastors, we go to them and we, 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 we can talk with them about these things. And congregations have the right to bind and to loose their congregations according 
they can call them to and fast. How, how yeah? Jesus fast? How? Right? When when how Jesus he will, how he, the way the way right wait one second we're not we're not jumping around questions I'm not jumping I'm, not, I'm no. always in in, in a fasting so so, so just let, let know, me finish I one point yeah I'll finish that's fine, that's fine. How, how, let me how, how let me let me finish this point and then I'll I answer that question no you didn't no you didn't no you didn't I did no you didn't I did so the the you don't okay are we just going to interrupt one I have to go I need to know how Jesus was fasting I'm going to finish my point regardless of whether you want to listen or not okay so I'll finish my point so Ramadan. Ramadan, because because the thing is the thing is the the, the thing is that that the, 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 you know Muslims they they want to ask questions but they don't want to listen to answers and we don't uh, we're not obliged to just run after them if they are if they can't listen to an answer to a question that they've asked doesn't mean we have to jump through their next hoop the reality is the reality is Islam has a religion that doesn't work. Muslims teach an idea of Ramadan that every Muslim has to keep. But the reality is, Islam recognizes that not everyone can keep that religion. So it fills the idea of Ramadan with qualification after qualification after qualification. You don't have to fast if you're this. You don't have to fast if you're that. You don't have to fast if you're the other. By contrast, because we have the freedom of the gospel, because we have the freedom of grace, because as Christians, we are called to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Every Christian can choose that sacrifice that they wish to offer to God. So the old ill man can choose a sacrifice appropriate to his condition. The young healthy man can choose the sacrifice appropriate to his condition. The pregnant woman can choose the sacrifice appropriate to their condition. The traveler can choose the sacrifice appropriate to their condition, which means that every Christian in every condition of life can keep the religion. But according to Islam, because of the one suicide fits all policy, there's a whole host of Muslims that can't even keep the pillars of Islam. Right. And that's the difference between our religion, our faith, every human being can keep all the time. In the Islamic faith, Muslims themselves admit Muslims can't keep the five pillars of Islam. Yeah, so, so just, just a quick postscriptum on the issue of fasting. All right. The, the, lots of studies have shown, lots of studies have shown across the Middle East that during Ramadan, yeah. food consumption goes up, not down. Yeah. If your food consumption goes up when you're meant to be fasting, you're not fasting, you're feasting. You're feasting. Christians in Lent, they fast. Your calories have to go down. One meal a day. You try it. You try it. There are entire diets based on the idea of one meal a day. You do vegan fasting one meal a day made of vegetables and fruit and i guarantee you're going to be eating less calories that's what fasting is please muslims don't come up to christians telling us that we don't fast don't come up to us telling us that we don't know about fasting we could teach you about fasting not the other way around sorry sister if you, if you, if you, fasting, fasting, fasting according to Sharia. Uh, uh, it's not about the calories. What, what, what is it then? Are we back to Amon and Mansour again? No, someone else. Oh, it's a different person. Where, where's this person from? Canada. Canada. So it's Canada this time. <laughs> Go on, bro.